What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a journey back in time. Security Breach is coming tomorrow and I could not be more excited. I have been waiting for this game for, what, two years now? It's, it's crazy how far we've come and today I kind of want to explore that. It has been 860 days since the first ever Security Breach teaser. And in that time, I've made 45 whole videos on this upcoming game uh, and yeah, I'm a bit burnt out by it. <laughs> so today I'm actually going to show some of the old clips from those past times. I feel like the hype of the game has really grown over time, especially in the past few weeks. And, uh, and I feel like I've really grown as well. Back then I only had 7,000 subscribers, a little bit under that actually. And this first video about Security Breach that I made uh, was about um, news of FNAF 9 having an actual title. Um, funnily enough, it wasn't Security Breach. Today we are going through something massive. Something massive that just happened in the last 24 hours. Basically, it's been a while since FNAF 9 was first leaked. There was this teaser that you will see on the screen um, that is called 9.jpg, obviously FNAF 9. Um, and it says 2020 at the bottom. That obviously means that this new entire game is coming out in 2020. And we all thought, we all thought that it was still Freddy, Bonnie, Chica Foxy, right? That's what it looked to be. But it looked like it was all revamp revamped. And now we know otherwise. We've got this one teaser that says rock at the bottom. If you look right at the top near Freddy's left ear, you will see Vanny. Vanny in the window. Then we had uh, what is currently on his website, um, and it's called Montgomery.jpg. Um, there's one character who isn't holding up um, her glow stick. Now, what's all this got to do with the last 24 hours? Well, in the last 24 hours, there were new names released on the Funko website. Now, Funko is a company that does uh, that does basically FNAF merch. Um, you've got the Funko Pops, uh, and new ones have been teased, basically. But now, because of this, we know the name of not only each animatronic, but the entire game. So, we're gonna go through this one by one. So we have five action figures. Um, one of Glamrock Chica, who is on the far left. One of Glamrock Freddy, who is obviously the one next to Chica. One of Montgomery Gator, who is the croc crocodile uh, or alligator um, that we see next to Freddy. And the last one, Roxanne Wolf, uh, who we see on the far right. Matt Pat was very good in finding out the name of this bunny, this random bunny that just came up um, and he called her Vanny. Well done. Um, I always thought that was kind of like a fan name for it, but now it's confirmed that it is Vanny, just not with a Y, with an IE, but it makes sense. So we have these five characters. Um, I have a feeling Vanny's going to be a lot like kind of Golden Freddy in the first games, like more of an Easter egg animatronic. But I don't know. I, I have no idea. We only have the information given. What is the name of FNAF 9 going to be called? It's going to be called FNAF Pizzaplex. FNAF Pizzaplex. Now, to me, I saw this name and I was like, is this real? Really? What? No. Um, it doesn't sound like a FNAF name, but I suppose you do need to get used to it, obviously. Uh, what I will say is we can analyse the name, obviously. We can, we've analysed names before. Um, sister location, we thought it could either be a sister location to the main locations, or it could be about the crying child sister, which it was kind of about both. Um, uh, Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator, um, well, it was a pizzeria simulator. Kind of gone corrupt, but okay. So. What does Pizzaplex mean? What does that connote? Well, pizza. 
<laughs> I, I, I know the first part. Um, pizza is still involved loosely in this in this franchise, but Plex that is the the part that is questionable. Um, so I'm gonna look up what, the, what a Plex is. So basically, Plex is a suffix. Um, I knew this before. Plex is a suffix, um, and it kind of if you think about the word complex, which is one of the first words that comes into my head when I think plex, um, if you think about complex, that can mean different things. It can mean um, it's it's hard, uh, it's difficult, or it could mean an establishment. So let's think about it. So Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, one of the locations could be a complex. You know, you, you have you have a prison complex. I think one thing to note is the fact that techno like Freddy F Fazbear Entertainment will always be ahead in technology. Um, like the sister location animatronics, for example, they look like they're from the future, but they're from the past. So don't let your eyes deceive you. Uh, <laughs> that's all I gotta say, really. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Obviously, we have these new animatronics. Um, I don't know if I'm fond of them yet, but Montgomery Gator doesn't really... Yeah, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it right now. And also, Roxanne Wolf. I mean, we've heard of the wolf before from the Twisted animatronics, but could, could that have any relation? I don't know. I don't think so. And then, literally a few days later, I made another video saying that the game wasn't actually called FNAF Pizzaplex. Hardcore fans will remember back then when the Glamrock designs were leaked and uh, Scott wasn't too happy about it. I'm back. A post by Scott talking about the leaks. I'll read it to you. So, I woke up to a barrage of uns upsetting emails. For this fan base, the day a major corporation spoiled the next major release of the FNAF franchise was the most important day of their lives. But for me, it was Friday. But seriously, this is obviously very frustrating for me. But not that surprising anymore. It's just another day in the life of FNAF. It makes me really miss the days of just making everything myself and handling everything myself. I feel sorry for Scott more than um, he feels sorry for us. What? I think Scott should just do things himself. Oh, he said Steel Wool was doing amazing, so well done to Steel Wool. Um, obviously FNAF VR was a massive success, and I'm hoping this one will be a massive success too. But I really think Scott should take a step back and just keep doing things himself rather than relying on other people. Scott loves to play around with us. Um, and apparently, Pizzaplex isn't the name of the game. Oh, I hate this. I actually... What? There's two things that could have happened here. Either Pizzaplex was just kind of there to mess around with us and to make us think it was intentional in a way, to make us think that it was that. Or, he's changed the name of the entire game. And from there, we got teaser after teaser, trailer after trailer. We got the Freddy and Friends on tour. We got the trailers in the PlayStation events. And all of it has led up to now. Tomorrow, the 16th of December, 2021. This is the biggest day in FNAF history. And I want you to join the ride with me. We'll be streaming the game until we beat the entire thing. Uh, and I will be making theory videos for probably a few months. So please make sure that you subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.